Hello and good morning. It's Shalia speaking today with another English video and another video around some things I've been observing over the weekend in personal coaching. So um, not so much business building related coaching, but rather things that are on people's hearts and on people's minds out in the world, just regular folks like you and me. Good morning, Leek. Nice to see you. <clears throat> good morning. And one of the things that came up with a coaching client this weekend is something that I know so well personally, which is the all-consuming question, should I stay or should I go? And the context of this question was posed within a work scenario. Someone in a job that they've been doing for a while, that they've been doing well for a while, that for the last couple of weeks, months, maybe even a year or more, started to feel like not the right thing anymore. And I want to talk about that. Um, and I'm not going to use the example of my client today. I'm going to use my own personal example because mine is a case of the extremes, <laughs> a lot, a lot more all-consuming than it was that it is or was for the client that I was speaking to. But maybe she'll be listening in uh, today or the next days as well, and get some additional insight because. What came up for me after we hung up the call is that there was something that we didn't talk about and I wanted to um, have a look at that today. So let's rewind life back um, 10 years ago or even 15, 16 years ago. I was working in a wonderful job in a career as a, um, a strategist in uh, digital marketing. Um, a very creative field with wonderfully creative people um, and with a lot of opportunities to travel and uh, see new things and experience new things, a, a, really, a really beautiful career as such. And at the same time, um, feeling that I wasn't happy there, that I was missing um, a sense of purpose, that I was working far too many hours, um, a lot of times seven days a week, um, sometimes I would, or not sometimes, often, uh, we kind of was like a regular thing going in at 8, 9 in the morning, not getting out till 10, 11 at night, and then coming back in on the weekend, not having, you know, a space for a private life and those types of things. And feeling like I really would like to do something different than that, but not knowing if I should stay or if I should go. And it getting to the point where I would constantly think about leaving and how I could do it and what would my next step be and always running into a wall every time and just not seeing any options, um, being completely blind, um, having blinders on like, a, like a, um, a horse that runs a race and just not being able to see anything that was possible for me to do after leaving, the career, leaving my career in, in the agency. Now, looking back, that seems ridiculous to me. Um, now from this space, 10, 15 years later, I can see a multitude of possibilities and options that would have been open to me, but I just couldn't see them. And that is the nature of a stuck state we get in when we are asking ourselves the question, should I stay or should I go in and, and just not seeing any options for ourselves? So let me, let me talk about what I think the problem is, because in the case of the agency situation, it was a case of I could feel in my knowing, deep in my heart, that I would be leaving, right? I just didn't know what steps to take or the next place to go. And I started doing the following. I started to doubt myself. I started to think, Shelia, something is wrong with you. Um, you are a scaredy cat. You are fearful of the future. Um, you want to get out, but you're holding yourself back. And so in addition to this questioning all the time about should I stay or go, or should I go, I would also add in other thoughts around judging myself for the fact that I wasn't moving forward, that I was talking and talking and talking to myself, to my partners, to friends, colleagues who would listen, 
about the situation, but I was just spinning my wheels like like a car stuck in mud and feeling like I was just stupid because I couldn't get out of the mud, right? Okay, so here's the problem that I could see from today. And I brought along um, a jar <laughs> from my kitchen. This is full of coffee beans. It's more of a decorative item, item than anything else. And this was my jar at the time. My jar was completely full. And let me tell you what that looked like. So I was spending, um, I don't know, like two thirds of my day, my, of my waking hours, um, busy with my work, right? I, so when you, when you can't figure out something, should I stay or should I go? What can I do next? Um, is there a possibility? Blah, 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 turning and spinning. What we tend to do is we, in order to avoid that thinking, we want to distract ourselves, at least that's what I did. And I just put myself into, into my work more fully. And so I would fill up two thirds of my day with thinking about my job and uh, working on my career and working on projects and staying late in the office, anything to avoid being alone with myself, okay? The rest of the third of these um, waking hours, I would fill up with these thoughts that I was talking to you about. Should I stay or could I, should I go? What could I do? No, I can't go. I need security. I don't have security yet, but I'm too scared, <laughs> all these things. So my jar was completely filled up. My mental capacity, my, my, my psychological and spiritual capacity, like there was just no space in there for any fresh thinking to come through. And that is exactly what we need, exactly what's helpful in a situation where we feel like we're in stuck state. All that really is telling us stuck state is that we need some fresh thinking and we don't have it at the moment and our jar is too full, okay? So here's how I ended up getting some space in my jar. Okay, I'm gonna show you this. So in 2007, <clears throat> my brother, um, was killed in um, a roadside bombing in Afghanistan. He was a soldier there. And it was an incredible, shocking, and unexpected loss. Um, I, he was 28 years old. I flew over to the United States and um, attended the funeral. And I suddenly remember feeling parallel to, to just... The, the loss of someone I love very dearly and, and, and looking at the repercussions for his family, also having the insight for myself, Shalya, you've got this one life. Um, look how quickly it can be gone. You need to get yourself up and, and start living, right? Like I, I was fully aware and I had the full recognition that this wasn't living this this um this jar full of coffee beans like it needed to be something more more lively and so i decided to quit my job it really just shook my world and just quit and just do nothing and that's what i did i i, I quit it took me about eight months to get out of um of that job and at some point i decided to take a trip to the usa for three or four weeks with a good friend um, we just piddled around the South from Nashville to Atlanta to Birmingham, Louisiana, down to New Orleans, um, Florida. We just did a whole tour, just cleared my head and came back home. And here's what had happened on that trip. Let me show you. Not that everybody can do a trip like that, but, you know, I'm just giving this as an example. So I'm going to put these coffee beans. Oh, that smells good. Now let's put some more in there. So when I got back, I had a lot more space in my jar. Still a lot, a lot of the old shit <laughs> that was still in there, but I had some, I had created some fresh space. And I continued to create some fresh space over time. And it didn't take long before I had an idea. And I thought, ah, oh, maybe it could be coaching or training. And I had some other ideas from things that I'd love to explore and look into and I think I had been back maybe two weeks and already I had signed up for a coach training in um, in Bielefeld and another one in in Vienna and the wheels started turning bang I pushed myself out of that um, churning wheel mud pile that I was in and my car was going again right 
And that's what we're looking for when in this stuck state is just to get the car rolling in any direction. It doesn't need to be the right direction, but it's just in any direction. And that is possible when you get some space um, for fresh thinking. So that's an example that I wanted to talk about in the area of a job. Um, but maybe you are having the same situation in a relationship. Maybe you um, are with someone or you've been with someone in the past and you can relate to this and it's the same situation. Sometimes we get in a, a stuck state where the question comes up, should I stay or should I go? And I have had this situation in my life as well and I wanna talk about that. Again, it went over like five or six years. I'm not gonna name the person or in which context it was in. But I, I was in the situation where I was feeling like we were in struggles, right? We were constantly batting heads, um, always ending in power struggles. Um, no matter how much communication we put into the relationship, trying to figure out how we could meet on the same page, we would always end up on two separate pages. The whole relationship over many years just felt like an absolute struggle and strain and, and not finding any common ground. Now, looking back on that relationship, knowing what I know now, knowing a lot more about how relationships work and how people um, create their own problems in relationships, I think there was a, there was a ton of things that um, we could have lived differently. But at the time, I was only completely focused on the one question, should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go? And in that state, I was not committed to the relationship, obviously, because I was with one foot in the door and one foot out of the door. But the dynamic on, on the inside of myself was exactly the same as in the situation at the agency, which was that my jar was filled up 100% with these shitty coffee beans, which aren't so shitty. They smell, they smell really good. Um, and the constant struggle in the relationship and should I stay or should I go was all consuming in my thoughts. And there was no room for fresh thinking. Now, in this situation, it was a little different. It wasn't exactly the same as in the, in the job situation, which was I didn't necessarily have the inner knowing how it was going to end up. Like, so I said at the agency, I knew I had this inner knowing that I would very likely be leaving this career path at some point in the future. In this relationship, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if there was something in the relationship that I was there to learn, to see, to heal, to do. And therefore, um, I should be staying in it to get through these difficulties, to come out um, in a better place on the other side, um, or if I should go. So it was more of, a, of, of an answer that looked like this. Should I stay or should I go? I don't know. That was, that was the honest answer that I had to give myself every time I asked myself the question. But again, what would have been helpful that I couldn't see at the time is that I was in that car, stuck with my wheels in the mud, turning in circles of should I stay or should I go, and I had a full up jar of, of shitty thinking. <laughs> and what I needed to do was create some space. And in this situation, I didn't leave the relationship to create the space. What I did was I got to a point where I realized that all that churning in the thinking wasn't bringing us anywhere and I just gave up I just gave up and I said I don't know I don't know what what, what direction this is going to go this is not in my control like all I can see is that I'm staying here and that the power struggle is continuing so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna stop thinking about it and I'm going to create some space right so I went and I dumped some coffee beans and oops, I'm surprised Duke hasn't come up. Every time he hears something shaking you know, or anything that sounds like food, he would be up here in a flash, but he must be really in deep sleep downstairs. So I got rid of some, um, some of the coffee beans and made some space in my beautiful jar. And I just started doing things outside of the relationship, right? I would like hang out with my friends more. I would find more stuff to do alone with myself. I would focus on something that was interesting to me outside of the relationship and um, create space away from all that questioning, questioning, questioning. And that was enough to 
start the wheels turning again. And that relationship ended up coming to an end, right? In a very, in a very nice and slow and peaceful way that, that made a lot of sense to me. But that was only possible because I just created that space, right? Okay, so now I gotta go and clean up all these coffee beans that have spilled all over my desk before the next coaching begins at, um, in the next 10 minutes. But um, I just wanted to share that with you. And I wanna tell you to the end of this video that creating space can look any number of ways. There's no one way to do it. You don't have to quit your job and go on a trip to America or in your relationship. You don't have to take your focus off your partner and go be with your friends. Like I'm not saying that's a recipe to do in your life. All I'm saying is just recognize that what's going to get you out of that stuck state is some fresh thinking and to have fresh thinking, the space is needs to be necessary to, to do that. And um, you'll go to your inner knowing and you'll get calm and settled and you'll find your own personal way in your truth in this moment, maybe to create that space for yourself so that you can get back to a peaceful place. And always knowing that the only stress we're feeling in a situation like this is being here, but wanting to be somewhere else, right? We go into resistance with what is. And so also having a look at that and going, okay, this is what is right now. That's all it is. And if I don't go in resistance with it, with it, that's another way that I'm creating space for fresh thinking and opening up possibilities for something different to come in to my spiritual, mental, psychological self and into my life. Okay. So I hope that was really helpful for you today and I will see you again uh, soon online and I would love to hear um, your comments in um, thoughts. Just write me a message um, with this video. See you soon. Bye guys.